make a reel on Canva just out of photos and maybe some of their design elements. So first we're going to click create a design and you're going to pick the Instagram story size. And they do have some templates for reels you could use if you would prefer to do that. Sometimes it's nice to start from scratch. Um, but we're going to go into my uploads. I've already uploaded some photos and we're just going to use those for this example. Photos, 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 pictures of me. There we go. And we're going to start off by like introducing myself to the audience because it's nice to just get that initial like get to know you and I'm resizing this picture and I'll explain in a second as to why here we go and let's get a visual guide on here so when you make reels it's really important to remember that people can watch them in the reels feed but people can also watch them in their like home feed as they're just scrolling so they might see them in this like tall rectangular shape and they might see them in the kind of more square shape of the home feed. So what I'm doing now is putting this square over so I can kind of get an idea for, okay, this is what people will see if they're scrolling through their home feed and this big rectangle is what people would see if they're scrolling through reels. So now I can kind of keep both design aspects in mind. So I'm doing one picture to kind of introduce myself. And then, you know, if you're doing an introduction reel, you, you want to do who are you, who do you serve, and, and how can you help them, right? So I'm going to do an example of um, what I do and like how I serve people by giving people an image of um, some of like the tutorials and stuff I have on my feed. So what we're going to do is I'm going to go to elements and frames, and I'm going to find the one that's a phone. There it is. And back to my uploads. And again, you could do this with just photos. Like if you create resources for other teachers, this would be a great place to pop in a photo of a resource that you have or a blog post, um, anything like that. Okay, so here, make it a little bit bigger. Let's see. Those are probably, that's probably a pretty good estimation of showing people. Okay, so then I'm going to go here. So again, I want to be able to keep this. Oh, good. Look at how that fits so nicely. And I'm going to change this color to be my brand. Okay, so now they'll see me. They'll see what I do. Yeah, okay. And then I'm going to add one more page. And again, you can add several. Like if you wanted to do um, a photo series of like, you know, this is why I'm like, I love to cook, here's food, you know, whatever, you could do that. Um, I Like if I wanted to say like, you know, I'm a mom and I have a dog and a husband, <laughs> I could put this photo in here if I wanted to. I am trying to focus on who I am, what I offer, and where they can learn more. So my last piece I'm going to do here is I'm going to throw in one more of my photos you know what, I might just use the same one. And I'm gonna show you an effect that I really like. I think this might be a pro only effect, but if you have the free version of Canva, definitely just quick check and see if it isn't, I can't remember. And usually there's a little crown next to it and I didn't see that. So um, if you click background remover, look, the background is gone, which is really actually kind of nice. And I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna go get the square again as a kind of a visual guide. Do back. Okay, so we can see all oh, my face would be right about in there and I'm going to do this this is here's another little cool Canva trick if you duplicate your image then go to adjust crank up the brightness crank up the contrast and then so now you whoa here's ghost Ashley what's going on here we're gonna scooch it over just a tish and then we're gonna switch it to back and now look my body has this cool little white outline and it was it was I mean it's super fast trick um, so let's make that orange square go away, orange square, orange square. So now I have these three things, but how do we turn it into a video? Because if I download it as a video right now, Canva defaults it to being a certain amount of time, and we really don't want it to be their default because it's like five seconds a slide, and that is way too long, right? People's attention spans, nobody wants to stare at this picture of my face for five seconds, let's be real. So we're going to go to elements, and we're going to search stickers and we're just gonna pick a little sticker 
that we could add to any of these buttons or any of these pages. And I think that the one that I want is kind of this little squiggly maybe. It's kind of a nice option. I can put back, backward. Okay, see now I've got this little timer that popped up. And I do not, like I said, the default is too long. So now it says my whole video is 16 seconds. That's crazy long. I want each slide to be between probably three and, well, two to three seconds. It's going to be just a super short video. See, we're going to check this slide. Again, this is five seconds. Way too long to look at my face and read the text that I plan to put on here. Two, this is three, and this one can be like another three seconds. So the whole video now you can see is eight seconds rather than 16. And actually I might make that a little bit shorter. Okay, so then you can play it up here so you can see what your video would look like. And like I said, you could add your text within Canva if you wanted to. I'm planning on adding text within Instagram so it's the native text. Okay, there. And then I'm gonna check and make sure it says all changes saved. What I would do at this point is I'm gonna walk away from my computer I'll close this design and I'm going to open it on the app on my phone and download it and then I would just upload it to Instagram where I would add music or add, well definitely add text so people know what the heck are they watching. Um, quick note for you, if you do not have audio on your reels, you could add audio from audio, you could add audio from Canva. So here, um, right, you can search for free audio and you can pick anything that fits, right? This is just, I mean, it's royalty free music so some of it is kind of like what is this but some of them are really fun what's road to joy sound like right something a little light i would probably do something a little bit more upbeat but that might be a good option for you if you do not have audio and you don't want to do a voiceover is to just add in some little like doop doop tunes all right i hope that was helpful for you if you have any questions feel free to comment below and let me know how i can help